Yo, 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 yo. What's good, y'all, man? We got Marvel Studio Blade. Right at our MCU Phase 5 R label report. So it's pretty much radar movie. That's what they sell on the title. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's probably still rumors, but we you know we see when we watch the um, the video, man. So, hey, like it up, sub, hit the bell, and um yeah, blade. And let me, let me comment below y'all side for blade though. Let me know comment below. But yeah, blade. Anyway, if I eat corn dog, let me know. You know what I mean? Let me know you like corn dog. Let me know. Comment down below. Make sure I record it. Alright, baby, baby, baby. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now, unfortunately, for a movie like Marvel Studios Blade, which has already been delayed multiple times and is the first silver screen casualty for the writer's strike, it was set to start filming at the end of May, even though it was amidst its third rewrite, and now they won't resume pre production and filming until the writer's strike is over. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of writers saying that shit, too. That strike shit. Well, there have been a ton of updates about castings and rumors for the plot some of which we've broken down in full here at the channel, and I strongly suggest if you didn't watch my video on Lilith, which I'll link at the end of this, you do because there's a lot going on with that character, some of which we'll talk briefly about during this video. But the latest update that has now been corroborated multiple times, to me, is the most exciting, because it not only speaks about the type of film that Blade is going to be, the type of film that Blade had to be, but it also opens up the door for the future of the MCU, and things that Marvel wasn't willing to do before, apparently they feel willing to do now, because Blade is actually going to be a rated R film. We're going to break down what Kevin Feige mm. has said about this in the past, why this is such a shocker, and what it really means for the future of the MCU going forward, now that the door is open to a rated R label beyond the Deadpool franchise. We're breaking it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter... I love, I love, I love rated R, because you could like actually... Feel the blood and all that other shit, you know what I mean? Big breakdowns, trailer, fuck right on, man. Reviews, okay, fuck to the occasional it. industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. In fact, we just announced a brand new winner days ago. Again, all you gotta do be a sub, leave a comment on this video if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so the update comes from Daniel Rickman, RPK, who has now iterated several times that regardless of Marvel Studios' previous stance on not doing rated R films, Blade will be announced to in fact be rated R. Now, mm -hmm. Kevin Feige is pretty candid on record at length multiple times. That's good. Angle, that's good. That, that's good. I got a rated R though, because we can see his full potential. P P13 ain't gonna make it like probably like little kiddish on um, Blade type shit. If you put PG13 or whatever that shit is, but yeah. They wouldn't do this, and this is what he said most recently in an interview with comicbook.com. I think we target everything we're doing for kids. Yeah, I'm saying they trying to target kids, you know what I mean? That's why they be doing that 13 shit. But they gotta realize having the Marvel people is old, not old, I ain't gonna say old, but older. You feel me? Like, some of y'all, like, and I'm 23. And what the fuck? What happened to the screen, though? I'm talking to the screen. Damn, I'm gonna still record. But most people are like, um, I'm 23, you know what I'm saying? We older, you feel me? I know some people like 30, 25, you know what I mean? It's like age, you feel me? And, you know, and they got new kids. But kids is watching because their parents watching the type shit. So that's why I understand that they trying to go for you feel me? But it's like you got older people too. Kevin Foggy, that is good if they do put on radar, which it probably isn't radar. That's good to like Deadpool. You know what I mean? Cause we got, we wanna see some, you know what I mean? Some dope shit. We wanna see some little ass kid shit. <laughs> so I think your question is more adult or R rated. Other than Deadpool, which has already established itself as a certain genre and a certain rating, yeah. that we already said we were not going to mess with. Other than that, we haven't encountered a story or a storyline <laughs> or a character's journey that a PG-13 rating or the tone or the ratings that we've been using up until this point has prevented us from telling. We haven't been held back by it. If we ever are, then certainly there can be a discussion that can be had, but that just hasn't been the case. We've told all the stories we wanted to tell with the tonality and the rating we have now. Now, it might shock you to find out that, in fact, when asked point blank, Mahershala Ali himself, the new Blade, said he didn't think 
that the Blade film had to be rated R, but something major has changed, and I really think it has a lot to do with the current fabric of what's going on in the MCU. First and foremost, we know that Mahershala Ali was upset with the first draft, not only because it was short, but because the action scenes were said to be extremely limited and lackluster. As you start to approach what this film needed to look like and comparing it to the original Blade films, as I've said many times at the channel, the sentiment is don't just make Blade for the sake of it. Make a new Blade film if you can do better than the originals. Those yeah, I was saying they will they'll think about this like, all right, we're going to make Blade film, but make Blade film a good ass movie. You know, only make a good ass movie a Blade film. Made that bitch right off. No cap. <laughs> films like the opening scene with all of the blood in the rave, that is just so hard to do without a rated R rating. That That's what I'm saying. You can't really make a Blade film, you know what I mean, while putting no blood. Like, that's not a Blade film. That's just like a regular, I mean, what do you want to call it? You know what I mean? So, definitely, they got to put right off. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was talking like, oh, man, they might make this shit kids-friendly. <laughs> no blood or nothing. Just him biting and shit. Like, kind of like um, Mobius. Him biting and shit. No cap. I'm guessing once they got into the rewrites, the actual brass tacks of this, brought in a second writer in Michael Starbury, brought in the third writer in Nick Pizzolatto, once it actually starts to take shape and they start talking about what they want to do with the action sequences and the film, I think it probably became very apparent and very fast that not only with the subject matter, but with the amount of blood alone, it needed an R rating to do the story justice. And that's why I used the quote I did after the prologue from Kevin Feige was because he said, up until now they didn't have that problem. Obviously, Blade is the first film and story where they said, wait, 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 we need this rated R rating to make it the film we want it to be, which is great for a Marvel fan base where a majority of us are well over the age to watch rated R films. And something you know what I'm saying? We, we right on the age. You feel me? It's, it's a lot of older motherfuckers than a lot of little kids. I ain't gonna lie. No cat. Real shit. I'm like, am I wrong? Let me know I'm like, am I wrong, though. That's Let me know. possibly been missing from the action sequences. And, of course, this isn't Marvel Studios' fault. But, man, watching a Maximum Carnage movie that's rated PG-13 is just such a letdown. And now with Craven being rated R, hopes for Venom 3. That's what I'm saying, though. Now, we, now if, if Craven red R, now we can see Venom red R, maybe. Morbius red R, maybe. You feel me? So, that's how they, they trying to be, you know, just like we doing. I don't do that radar R shit. To be rated R. Because so I ain't like, you, when you don't got rated R, you miss a lot of, you know, sequence. You feel a lot of fighting scenes. I don't know. You miss some shit. You know you miss some shit when you watch P-13. You, you know you miss some shit. I ain't gonna lie. Far <laughs> as well. I think Sony and Marvel are realizing that their fan base is growing up and rather fast. They yeah, say they aim everything saying. at adults and kids, but a majority of us still watching the MCU and 15 years deep are well into our adulthood now. Now, other things have taken place at Marvel Studios, I think, to make this a little bit easier. Obviously, Deadpool will be coming out and very close in proximity to Blade, so they'll be having those two movies run at the same time. Rated R, it'll have the same violence and the same feel. And they have plenty of other projects, both on the silver screen and Disney Plus, that can appeal to kids as well. So the production upping that they've done here, whether or not they need to tone back at all, the amount of things they're putting out has allowed there to be more room for, say, a one-off for rated R. But I think this is a sign of things to come. And the door was really opened with Werewolf by Night, which has been the most, if I should say, mature project Marvel Studios has done with the amount of blood they were willing to show, the violence and the scariness. They took the success of that project project the feedback from the fans who said this is awesome we want more of this and it just helps push that idea at marvel studios that mm. again we're all adults and yeah. some of these projects will be way better if is that again we're all adults and some of these projects will be way better if they're rated r and i'm so glad that marvel studios has decided to get with it because guys listen while we can talk about the fandom and what they're doing with the characters and the majority of what we talk about at this channel is based on that and the plots and all the stuff that goes into it, there are people who put on a shirt and tie and a jacket every day who only worry about the numbers as it pertains to these movies. Executive producers, oh, bottom yeah, line true. people. That's yeah. why a new CEO was brought in in the first place. When a movie like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania ends up losing money overall. I don't want to get into the numbers with you guys, but remember theaters keep half. So even if it made 600 or something million globally, guys, it, it lost money overall in the tens of millions. They just mm, won't continue heard about to make that. them if they're losing money. And so they take a look at this. They see that a lot of us in our demographic are old enough to watch rated R movies. And they know if they put out a PG-13 Blade, it probably won't be the hit. Yeah, it ain't gonna hit. It ain't gonna hit though. I'm gonna watch it still, but it ain't gonna hit. 
the money wise, it ain't gonna hit. That it can be if it's rated R. So yeah, yes. it's, it's gonna it's gonna be a hit if it's rated R. But if it's not rated R, like they say, oh, it's on P thirteen. I'm gonna watch it still. People gonna watch it, but they ain't gonna be like, you feel me? Like, you're gonna you know, lose like, some kid viewers that won't be able to see the film. But whatever you lose, but it's okay though. In kid viewers, you're gonna gain back tenfold in the adult viewers that actually want to see a rated R. Bl Type of shit, yeah. You came because you wanted to see a race. Let's race! Blade. So my hope is going forward, obviously, they do more rated R projects. And no, you shouldn't expect that we're going to get a rated R Avengers movie in any time soon. There's still going to be a ton of... Yeah, it's going to be big. It's going to be just 13, though. That'd be fine if we do get a rated R film on Avengers, but it's going to be 13, though. They still trying to... that are aimed at kids like yeah. Miss Marvel or, say, America Chavez, like, who they oh, want to yeah. make sure are What's retaining that, that PG-13 rating so they can watch their, her, their whole story arc. Other teams like the Midnight Suns who have characters like the Punisher and Blade on them, perhaps that can start to be the rated R storyline where kid viewers who like some of the characters that they do aren't gonna miss out on the overall arc. Even that said, some of the kid viewers watching this will be rated R watchers in the, by the end of the multiverse. Time goes by very fast and if Marvel Studios is gonna continue to roll on for the next 10 years. But look, Marvel movies being rated R has been something that I think has been missing the entire time. I think Logan and Deadpool proved that films can be rated R, can be extremely violent, and still be a Marvel film. And it is about time Marvel Studios decided to. Yeah, I was saying Marvel finally, finally made a man up. Uh, okay. Brace that as well. Again, you don't need a rated R Avengers title or a rated R Ant Man title, but you do need a rated R Blade title because there needs to be blood. And uh, fact, a lot of people want to see that. Hopefully, shit. Sony's looking at Craven. They're looking at this and they'll do the same with Venom 3. It's about time we got a Venom movie that's actually rated R. But you guys let me know all your thoughts down below as always in the comments. I'm pretty sure I know where everybody stands. It's going to be a resounding thumbs up. But hey, if you are the one outsider or dissenter who wants this to all stay PG-13, put it in the comments. I am all ears as always. Look, if you want a Blade movie with no blood, I don't know who you are out there. <laughs> Uh, drinking microwaved milk or what the heck is going on but you know hey i feel you I hey yeah we feel y'all but go over there somewhere no way i can't go go over there somewhere no cat actually i don't at all but you know let me, let me. you know what i'm saying i don't feel your ass but hey go 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 over there somewhere if you like p13 go over there because <laughs> over here we older we we like to watch yeah we like right now we like to watch that bullshit let me know down in the comments quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Uh, we are still giving away plates. No cat. <laughs> but anyway, man, leave a wait. Oh, I got my screen on y'all. My bad. Anyway, y'all leave a like, man. So my channel may hit the bell if you're new. That was Blade, man. Red R MCU face by our label report. So um, yeah, I hope we get Red R. I think we get some Red R. You know what I'm saying? No, that'd be fire though, cause. I want to see Red Eye Blade, you know what I'm saying? It won't hit the same if it was just P13. It just won't hit the same. I would watch, people gonna watch it regardless. But, not everybody, most people gonna watch it regardless. But, people gonna watch it more if it was Red Eye. Because he showing his whole potential. You know, blood, biting the neck. You gonna see split, you know what I'm gonna see all that shit. So, hey, that's a side right up, man. But, hey, let me know what y'all think. Y'all like Red Eye or P13? Let me know, kind of below. I know a lot of people gonna put Red Eye shit in the comments. You know what I mean? Put the Red Eye. Better just put R. On P13, put R. Yeah, type shit. Man, like it'll say the bed. I'm, yeah, alright. Peace.